from Creamer Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Food and beverage giant McDonald's South Africa has unveiled its first newly built, revamped restaurant at Stone Ridge Shopping Centre in Johannesburg. And Ian Killian tells us more. The 10 million rand flagship Stone Ridge rebuild is the first of its kind in the fast food major's Middle East and African markets. The new features of the refurbished franchise include a neutral palette that uses natural looking materials such as timber, concrete, glass and stone. It's an international design uh, which we now adopting to the McDonald's. You can see it's slightly more simple but for us more importantly it's listening to the customer. The customer is a modern and contemporary customer. We believe we're a modern and contemporary brand. So as the customer changes, so we must change. An environment where moms and kids can come sit, an environment where two young teenagers can hang out, an environment when we, even me and my grandmother can come sit here, be comfortable and enjoy the space. Solomon says that the intention of the makeover is to make the customer the focus of attention, while also allowing for customers to interact with their environment. The facility will boast a never before seen vertical play place wall that is within a safe controlled environment. He said it's a great contemporary atmosphere where families can enjoy a night out without breaking the bank. The new design is a more simple international representation being incorporated into all the McDonald's franchises in South Africa and is more energy efficient as it uses slightly smaller windows with a lower ceiling to ensure the space is more compact. It is energy more efficient not because of this design but it, 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 it implies you know principles that we're using slightly smaller windows you know bringing down the ceiling height to to be able to make sure that the space is not uh, is not that big. I equip Equipment is all energy efficient equipment, our lighting is all LED lighting, but making sure that the space cools and heats using natural elements, that's where we are right now with uh, McDonald's designs going into the future. Solomon pointed out that the company employs between 800 and 1,000 new employees every year and noted that the potential future CEO of McDonald's could come from one of the restaurants. He noted that it should be a priority of big business to upskill its employees. McDonald's South Africa formally trains 1,500 students through its McDonald's training program every year and is a accredited with national quality form levels 2, 3, and 4. Solomon said that McDonald's was also focused on creating employment for women. Over 50% of McDonald's franchisees are female, 57% of the employees are female, and 62% of all managers are female. Other news making headlines, a need for accurate designs of dosing systems, and AgriSA says it will not support fracking as set out under current legislation. The designs for dosing systems in the gas and fumes industries have to be accurate to ensure safety. Not just in the fracking industry, like all other chemical dosing applications, it's important to get the information up front um, with regards to the required flow rates, the chemical attributes which would include temperature, viscosity, density of, of the liquids. Um, from, from then, we speak to the engineers and we decide how optimum they want the chemical to be dosed. For example, for anti scalance in a gas line, it's critical that we maintain the correct PPM in the line. Otherwise, we could have detrimental scale buildup. Um, this could increase the energy costs required to get the gas into the storage area or decrease the flow rates, which could have production implications to them. If we overdose a chemical, for example, then we are um, breaking the bottom line of the, the chemical required um, and the cost thereof. Agricultural Industry Association, AgriSA, says it cannot support government's continued pursuit of hydraulic fracturing. At the moment, the, the process is going ahead and, and we are not satisfied that all the research has been done and all the requirements have been met. Uh, certainly not in terms of the possibility of destroying uh, scarce water resources, especially in the arid areas of South Africa, but also in some of the higher production uh, areas. We are concerned about the, the studies that have been done in terms of, of, of uh, job creation. Unemployment is a major concern in South Africa. It's no use. Even in food security, we take it into account. Can people afford the food? It's the same with energy. We, we can produce the energy, but it must be affordable. In the end, it mustn't have a negative effect on food security, on, on uh, infrastructure, uh, etc. And those are our major concerns that have not been met by the research that, been done, that has been done so far. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.